I am going to play some of my Baccarat strategies, but I'll be placing bets on Banker only. Let's go. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in Baccarat, one of the best bets you can make is on Banker. The Banker has a house edge of only 1.06%. The player, on the other hand, has a house edge of 1.24%. So placing a bet on banker is slightly better than betting on player. Here is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna play some of my Baccarat strategies. However, I'll only place a bet if I have a trigger on banker. I'll show you what I mean. I'll start out playing the no mirror. And let's say the first column goes something like this. For the no mirror, we are betting opposite of whatever happened the previous column. So my first bet on row number one would be a banker bet because I'm betting opposite of player. And since this would be a banker bet, I would go ahead and place this bet on banker. Now check out row number two. We would have to bet opposite of banker if we're playing the no mirror, right? So this bet would be on player. And since I'm only playing banker bets, I would skip row number two, since it is a player bet. Make sense? Same goes for row number three. I would skip this bet because it is also a player bet. I would play row four since it is a banker bet, and I would skip row five and row six since they are both player bets. Pretty straightforward, right? I'll do this for all four strategies I'll be playing today. I'll be using the no mirror, X marks the spot, 89 special, and the Hong Kong Bakura strategy. I'll be looking for banker bets only with all four strategies. My money management will be the fan favorite star 2.0. Here is what we are gonna do. We're gonna go for only one back-to-back -back consecutive wins per strategy. So if I'm playing the no mirror and I win two in a row, I'm done with the no mirror. I'm gonna move on to another strategy. We will try to hit back-to-back -back consecutive times on all four strategies and then end the session. Got it? Good. I'm gonna go ahead and find the table and while I do, you guys know what to do. Slap the like button, hit subscribe, and turn on the bell. Let's go. Okay, we are on speed Bakra B. I'll take the last five results. Let's type it into our spreadsheet. Okay, so banker, player, player, banker, player. So after this free hand, the column will be complete as we get a banker. All right, can we play row number one? No, we can't. Why? Because this bet would have to be on player and we're only placing bets on banker, remember. So I'm gonna skip row number one, but we can place bets on row number two, three, and five, okay? We don't record ties, completely ignore them. That is why it's important to keep your own scorecard. Banker wins. Okay, we can place our first bet, $10 on banker. Here we go. Looking for back-to-back -back consecutive wins per strategy. So this is the no mirror, banker bets only. Let's go. Six is looking good, very nice. All right, so plus 10. Let's go ahead and parlay our bet. $20, I'm playing row number three because it is a banker bet. Oh, we missed on the natural nine, but seven over six will take it. Very nice. Just like that, we are done with the no mirror. Quick $30. Okay, so next strategy, I will play X marks the spot. I'm going to go ahead and clear my spreadsheet here. And I'm going to clear up top because we're starting over on star 2.0. All right, I'm going to find a new table and let's play the X. Speed Bakura C. 
I'll start out with two free hands. I'll play the X in two sequences, okay? And again, I'm looking for back-to-back -back wins and we're out. Okay, so player. That is great because after this free hand, we can go ahead and place a bet on banker since we get a player up top here, right? We're only doing banker bets, so our trigger has been met. After this free hand, I'm going to place another bet on banker. All right, here we go. X marks the spot, $10 on banker. We have $30 locked in already from the no mirror strategy. So let's see what happens during X marks the spot. Natural eight, perfect. Banker wins, plus 10. I can clear this and take some free hands, okay? I will parlay the next bet when I get the opportunity. Another player, that's good for us because we're looking for banker bets only. So after this free hand, we will place a parlay bet on banker. Okay, $20 on bank. Hopefully we can hit this. If we do, we're done with the X. We can move on to 89 special. But let's see what happens here first. Looking for a parlayed win on banker. Natural eight, player got us there, so that is a loss, minus 20. I'm gonna start another sequence of the X. Okay. And after these three hands here, once we get to the middle spot, that is another banker bet for sequence one. All right. Player as our free hand during sequence two. So I can play sequence two as well after this free hand. Looking for back to back wins and we're out. Okay, step two of the star 2.0, still a $10 bet. So we'll go 10 on banker. Seven is looking good. Okay, seven over six, we'll take that, plus 10. So I'm at this position right over here. This will be a free hand, and then we'll bet the middle spot for $20 since it's a parlayed bet. We can go ahead and clear this since we hit on sequence two. And just looking for a hit on sequence one now after this free hand. Okay, here we go, $20 on banker. Can we hit our parlay? If we do, we can exit the table and play a different strategy. So hopefully we can hit this banker bet right now. Very nice, natural eight, we'll take it. All right, plus 20 for X marks the spot, not bad. Let's clear everything here. I'm now gonna play the 89 special. So I'm gonna exit and look for a new table. Okay guys, I am on the Baccarat A table. So we're gonna play the 89 special. And I like to start out with a brand new shoe when playing the 89 special because there are more cards in the shoe. So a higher chance of naturals coming out. Okay, so we're gonna wait for some naturals and then get started. Okay, good, there we go. Natural eight on banker. So we're gonna take a free hand and this free hand has to be a banker because we're only doing banker bets, remember. 
So if this free hand is a player, we cannot place a bet. So let's see what comes up here. Okay, you see, player wins. So unfortunately, we cannot place a bet here. I'm going to have to wait for another natural. We finally get another natural. So again, we need the banker to win this free hand in order for us to place a bet. I know there's a lot of waiting when it comes to the 89 special, right? <laughs> but it's okay, I'm gonna fast forward the free hands for you guys. So hopefully we get a banker win so we can place our first bet for the 89 special. Oh, a natural the opposite side. So what happens is we wait for another free hand. If the natural were to show up on the same side, you can go ahead and place the bet. But since the natural showed up on the opposite side, we have to take another free hand. I know I get this question a lot. So there is your answer. Again, we're looking for a banker win with this free hand here. Not looking good at the moment, player wins. So again, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait for another natural. Here we go, another natural on the player this time. But we can't seem to get the banker to win during the free hand. <laughs> We need a banker win here, come on. We've been waiting for a while now. This is why I play the 89 special as an add-on strategy because there is a lot of waiting at times. Give us a banker win here, come on, natural eight. It is on the opposite side, so we're gonna have to take another free hand. We got a player natural and then a banker natural. So hopefully banker can win again. And no, <laughs> my goodness, this is not the table for 89 special. I'm gonna give it one last shot. And if we don't get our trigger, I'll switch tables, okay guys? Natural eight on the banker. So one last shot. This better be a banker win or I'm gonna find another table to play the 89 special because so far the free hands have all been player wins and we're only doing banker bets. So we need a banker win here, come on. Right when I'm shooting a YouTube video, they do this. <laughs> come on, five, five. Downgrade the player, come on. Very nice, zero, just hold on here. Okay, two over zero, finally, we get the trigger we want. So here we go, first bet of the 89 special, $10 on banker. Natural eight on the player. So we lose that bet, minus 10. We don't place a second bet when we see another natural interrupt us. So we're going to see what this free hand is and hopefully it's another banker so we can jump right in and bet again. So let's see what happens here. Oh, 
Not looking good. Six over one. Nope, we don't get lucky. You know what, guys? I'm going to look for another table. This table is just not doing it for us for the 89 special. I'm still going to leave the minus 10 up here. We'll start out on step two of the star 2.0, okay? Brand new shoe, Speed Bakra F. Hopefully we can get some naturals and some triggers on the banker so we can hurry up and place our bets. <laughs> Right away, we start out with a Banker Natural 9. We need this free card to be a Banker. Hopefully this shoe works out better for us. Very nice. Banker wins the free hand. So I'm going to place another bet on Banker here. Step 2 of the Star 2.0. We lost the first bet over on the previous table, okay? So we're looking for some back-to-back -back wins, and then we'll be done with the 89 special. Six is looking good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, player got us there. So minus 10. We bet twice with the 89 special. Okay, so step three of the star 2.0, another $10 bet on bank. So we do pick up that win, plus 10, and that is a natural on the banker's side. So I can jump right in with a free hand, and it has to be another banker for us to place our parlayed bet. Okay, so hopefully banker wins this free hand. Natural nine tie, wow. So we're gonna have to take another free hand. We don't count that at all. Natural eight, the opposite side. So another free hand. <laughs> Come on, banker. Nope, player wins. So unfortunately, we can't place a bet yet. I have to look for another natural. There we go, natural nine on the player's side. We need a banker win on the free hand. Another natural nine on the player's side. <laughs> So I'll take another free hand. Has to be Banker. I won't play the 89 special again unless it's an add-on strategy because you can see it takes a while for the triggers to show up. So we won't play it on its own. Wow. Okay, that was a natural eight tie. Okay, good. We finally get a banker win on the free hand. So let's go ahead and parlay this bet. $20 on banker and hopefully we win because I want to end the 89 special strategy. I'll remember not to play it solo when shooting a YouTube video. <laughs> okay, so give us a win right here. Four over zero. Three, six, we got it, perfect, plus 20. And we made only $10 with the 89 special, but you know what, I'm happy we're done with it because there was a lot of waiting around. So I'm gonna clear this. And last but not least, I'm gonna find a new table and play the Hong Kong Bakra strategy. Okay, speed Bakra O. With the Hong Kong Bakra strategy, I'm going to type in the first three results. So we have a banker followed up by a player. And after this free hand, 
we're going to take another free hand and see if it'll be a check mark or an X. Okay, so my three pattern is banker, player, player. So if a banker shows up here, it'll be a check mark. If a player shows up, I will type in an X. And we will bet on whatever shows up as long as it is a banker bet. Banker wins. This is a check mark. Okay, and I'm looking for the check mark. So, in order for this to be a check mark, I would have to bet on player. We're not betting player, we're only doing banker bets, remember? So, I'm going to skip this bet. Banker wins. So, that is an X. I can play this bet because I'm looking for the X now, which means this bet would have to be on Banker. So here we go. First bet of the Hong Kong strategy, $10 on Banker. Tie. We don't record ties. I'll just pop a rebet and keep going. Very important to keep your own scorecard. Okay, so we lose that bet. Player shows up. That is a check mark. Minus 10. I'm going to take another free hand here because it's a start of a new row. So let's see what we get. X or a check mark. Player wins. That is an X. We're looking for the X. Can I place a bet here? Yes, I can because I'm looking for the X, which means this would have to be a banker for the X to show up. All right, and I'm on step number two of the star 2.0. Wow, zero, zero tie. <laughs> you don't see that too often. So again, we're just popping a rebat. Seven is looking good, unless we get unlucky here. We don't get unlucky. Very nice, banker wins. You can see the X show up, plus 10. I go for one hit per row, so the parlayed bet will be during the next row if we get a trigger on the banker side. Banker, so that is another X. Going to take another free hand here, and whatever shows up, we're going to go ahead and place a bet as long as it is a banker bet. Banker wins, so this is a check mark. If I were to bet for the check mark here, I would place a bet on player. So I can't place a bet because we're only doing banker bets. So I will wait out this hand and we'll go from there. And banker wins. You see if I placed a bet on player, I would have lost. So if we're looking for the X, this would have to be a banker bet. So here we go. We can place a bet. Parlay $20 bet on banker. If we hit, the session is done. If not, we will continue going down the progression until we get back-to-back -back wins. So looking for banker here. Okay, two over zero, come on. Very nice, we get an X, we hit our parlay plus 20, and we made $20 for the Hong Kong Bakra strategy. Okay, and what's up with my balance? I'm supposed to be getting paid here. Let's see if there is a bit of a delay. Should be over $2,100. It's 
So we are waiting patiently here. I'm waiting for this to go up. And there we go. Okay. A little bit of a delay, but <laughs> we do get paid. You can see the balance, $2,116. So we hit back to back on all four Bakura strategies we played. And that is the session. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the table. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So $2,113 in the balance. We played four Baccarat strategies, star 2.0. We looked for back-to-back -back consecutive wins for each strategy. We got it, and that is the session. Let me know in the comments what you think of the banker bets only. Good idea, bad idea, let me know. If you enjoyed this session, go ahead and destroy the like button. As always, make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. Check out the website, mrraphael.com. That is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I will catch you in the next one. Ciao.